impact the capital, destroying Oyo as a regional power until the early 17th century. Now, let's come to say, uh, early 17th century now, uh, the imperial period. The Yoruba of Oyo went through an interregnum of 80 years as an exiled dynasty after its defeat by the Nupe. They reestablished Oyo as more centralized and expansive than ever. The people created the government that established its power over a vast empire. During the 17th century, Oyo began a long stretch of growth, becoming a major empire. Oyo never encompassed all Yoruba-speaking people, of course. Ijebu people was, was never under Oyo empire, by the way, and I'm from Ijebu. Some said me, maybe that is why I am much kind of, uh, uh, you know, they say courageous and then uh, fearless. I am fearless when it comes to when somebody say, I will deal with you. I say, what do you want to do other than to kill? When you kill me, after that, what do you want to do again? Nothing. And before you do even do that, eh, Baba, you go try. And at the same time, just make sure say, you will want to do something to somebody. Eh? Prepare, say, you have no idea what that person says. If you do, no, just come with this dear share. Say, I will, I will beat you. I will beat you. Baba, before you know it, if he don't land you, before you know it, if he don't, if he don't land you, oh, it's a vice versa thing, by the way, right? So, let's continue. Oyo, during the 17th uh, century, yeah, Oyo began a long stretch, like I said, and Oyo never encompassed, encompassed all Yoruba-speaking people. But it was the most populous kingdom in Yoruba history. So, now, to reconquest after their defeat, the key to Yoruba rebuilding of Oyo was a stronger military and a more centralized government. Taking a cue from their Nupe enemies, whom they called Takpa. Takpa Lengpe. So, Ogun Takpa. You remember it? Uh, it hey, don't make sense to you now. Don't worry. I just want you to pick keyword. I will still use them later. Okay? Beautiful. Now, let's continue. So they were taking a cue from the people who, who exiled them for 80 years. 80 solid years. The Takpa controlled your empire. I don't know, maybe many of you still remember that anyway, but let's go on. So the Yoruba armed with armor and cavalry. Oba Ophiran, Allah Afiyo for you, succeeded in regaining Oyo's regional territory from the Nupe, the Takpa. A new capital, Oyo Igbo, was constructed, and the original became known as Old Oyo. The next Oba, Oba Egungu Ojo, conquered nearly all of Yoruba land. That's their own expedition when they, when they become too powerful. After conquering those who, who exiled them for 80 years, they were like, you see, this one will fight us again, they no bond them. You see all this rest of these Yoruba people, they need to know, say, we are the powerful. They started expedition. You know, I'm coming there. So, uh, Oba, now, after this, Oba Oronpoto Loye led attacks to obliterate the Takpa to ensure Oyo was never threatened by them again. During the reign of Oba Ajiboyede, he held the first Bere festival or Bere festival, an event to celebrate peace in the kingdom. Celebrated regularly, it will retain much significance among the Yoruba long after the fall of Foyo, because Foyo eventually fell anyway. Under his successor, Abipa, the Yoruba repopulated Oyo Ile and rebuilt the original capital. Despite a failed attempt to conquer the Beni Empire sometime between 1578 and 1608, Oyo continued to expand. The Yoruba allowed autonomy to the southeast of metropolitan Oyo, where the non-Yoruba areas could act as a buffer between Oyo and Imperial Beni. But the end of, I mean, sorry, by the end of 16th century, the Ewe and Aja states of modern Beni were paying tributes to Oyo. Now, there is also Daome War to let you know how the Oyo warriors were so ambitious 
they went to Dahomey. You know Dahomey is what is today's a Bene Republico. That is why you have Yorubas in Bene Republico. Wait for it. The reinvigorated or your empire began raiding southward as early as 1682. By the end of its military expansion, Oyo's border would reach to the coast some 100 kilometers, 62 miles southeast, I mean, southwest of its capital. It met little serious opposition until the early 18th century. In 1728, the Oyo Empire invaded the kingdom of Dahomey in a major campaign of its cavalry, people on horses, fighting with sword, arrow, bows, and all that. Yeah? So, Daome warriors, on the other hand, had no cavalry but many firearms. Their gunshots scared the Oyo cavalry horses and they prevented their charging. Daome's army also built fortifications such as trenches, which forced the Oyo army to fight as infantry. They have to come down from their horses and fight on the ground with them. So, uh, going forward, the battle lasted for the battle lasted four days, but the Yoruba were eventually victorious after reinforcement arrived. Daome was forced to pay tribute to Oyo. The Yoruba invaded Daome eleven times before finally subjugating the small kingdom in 1748. We were warriors, ladies and gentlemen. The people who are now preaching, who are now preaching fear to you. The people are now telling you that you can't ask questions about what Nigeria has done to us. The people are telling you that uh, you should not speak out because you are going to cause trouble. The people who tell you to keep short while wow, all this invasion are happening, they are telling you to deny who you are. That's not who you are. That is not who we are. We did not ask for war. We are invaded. And now we are being told we can't defend ourselves. Guys, eh? That is not who we are. That's not who we are. That's not who we are. We are as peaceful as anything. But when we get uh, attacked, we expect those who lead us to ask us to, to defend ourselves, not ask us to pray that our murderers should have change of heart. And that is what Nigeria did to us. Allah, you know, for your Obala media, Yemi is involved. Going forward, they said organization, talking about uh, Metropolitan Oyo. At the beginning, the people were concentrated in the Metropolitan Oyo with imperial expansion. Oyo reorganized to better manage its vast holdings within and outside of Yoruba land. It was divided into four layers, defined by relation to the core of the empire. These layers were Metropolitan Oyo, Southern Yoruba land, the Egbado Corridor, the Ajaland. So, where is Metropolitan Oyo? The Metropolitan Oyo corresponded, more or less, to the Oyo states prior to the Nupe or Takpa invasion. This was the hub of the empire, where the Yoruba spoke Oyo dialect. Metropolitan Oyo was divided into six provinces, with three on the west side of the Ogun River and three to the rivers in the east. Each province was supervised by a governor appointed directly by the Allah Fion for your ha, God, God. No wonder the first, uh, the first uh, white people that came and entered Yoruba land, they said they've never seen such an organized society administrative, commerce, the society. The, you know, it was so organized that they were so marveled that they dreamed of destroying it. Except we destroy this culture, eh? These people, these people, <laughs> these ideas that they can't read and write like they say, these ideas of theirs in practice is completely out of this world. That's who we are. That's who we were. And that's who we still are. Provinces, oh. As far back as uh, 1740, 17, this, 17, that. Oh. Today, they are now telling you that uh, you can't even think Yoruba. You can't have your own country. 
you can't even i mean come on how long it lasted before we come to this reality education will unlock your mind trust me education will unlock your mind like there's no force there's no violence there's no nothing education will unlock your mind education will, dis will deconstruct your mind you will know what is right and you will do what is right it is just a matter of time we were great oh we were great we were, we were great until those who held who were holding that great kingdom became the subject of their own greed yes now let's continue yoruba land the second layer of the empire was composed of the towns closest to Oyoile, which were reorganized as brothers this area was south of metropolitan Oyo, and its yoruba inhabitants spoke different dialects from that of Oyo, Ile. Do you see that respect? Do you see that organization? I'm coming. That's to tell you that uh, in Yoruba land, we speak different languages. We even have, uh, you know, different kind of cultures. But most of our cultures are so relative that we call ourselves brothers because we respect who we are in that uh, bigger circle, the bigger nation called yoruba nation oh nigeria did us bad damaged us for who we are gave us a different uh, a different uh, identity the identity that is so confusing that we are now lost so organized no discrimination no disrespect respect for who you are in your own land that was where we are that's what we are before nigeria these tribal i mean these tributary states were led by their own rulers titled hobbers who were confirmed by the allah you know, for your did you hear that Towns where people speak, I mean, they speak different languages to those who are the central or your, a central or your who, who, built that, who built an army that became so massive to give you Ruba land protection anytime to the point that they even expanded outside Yoruba land to Dahomey. You see, oh, they were still holding their own uh, culture and tradition. But to pay allegiance to the to the empire that protects you in the olden days you will send your own nominated oba to or your or your never gave them oba it will be you nominating and they will say go and meet a laughing that's structurally but historically a laughing is not meant to be the leader of yoruba land no 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 it was the son of a laughing who came from me it was the son of odudua who came from ileife they have founded what is today's Oyo, and historically, uh, Oyo should be paying obe obeyance or allegiance to his own uh, fatherland, the source. That's why they call Ilefe the source. How did Oyo become this? Militarily. How did America become what power? Militarily. Eh, maybe economic uh, commerce, so to say. But military, defense. Why is, uh, you know, why do you call these countries world power? Military. Or your used military to now give Yoruba land protection. In return, you pay allegiance to, to whoever is the king. Do you get that structural stuff, right? Nothing is taken away from you. You are still Ijebu. You are still this. You are still that, right? You speak your language. You are not forced to change it. You still appoint your own number. Your process is the same. But to have uh, the protection of the land, you go to Allah. Think, this was how Allah. Think, this was how powerful Allah think, was in our history. This is not a makeup story. This this history that happened. All these towns, all these villages, they are still there. Families from those who we are talking about, seventeen, this, sixteen, that, they are still there. Allah I think, should never be somebody that koto cap in hand to somebody and say, uh, what do you, they say, jump, he jump. They say, 
Alafi of Yoruba land or any Yoruba oba, eh, should never at any point feel like uh, they need protection from anywhere. They needed protection right there is there in Yoruba land. So you don't say you are Alafi, you are uh, you are Oni of Ife, you are Wujale of Ijebu land. And they say, ah, uh, you yeah, jump. They say, how high do you want me to jump? That was what Alafi did to us. He did us bad as well. And we have no apology educating you about this. Yoruba land was great. Yoruba land had great people, great leaders, whose only existence was for Yoruba people. No other, no other. And in return, Yoruba served them. Do you get that? We organized. Let's go to the other layer, the Egba Corridor. The Empire's third layer was the Egbado Corridor southwest of yoruba land this area was inhabit I mean, inhabited by the egba and egbado and guaranteed or just trade with the coast listen to this oh the egba the egbados at the west of yoruba land they have access to the sea and the coast the empire needed a collaborator so they made them to continue to hold what they were holding. So the empire's trade will go through the coast. And the Egba and the Egbados, they will ensure the smooth operation of the kingdom's business. That's who Yorubas are. Today that they are saying Egbas cannot sit down with Oyo. Yoruba land cannot work because Ijebus cannot listen to Ondo. All this nonsense may put in your head by these greedy politicians. Education will take them off your head because that is not Yoruba. That, no, 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 that's not Yoruba. Yorubas worked together for 23 years. The likes of Tifnumbu and Gang, all the governors in Yoruba land, they couldn't work together to give Yoruba and the Yoruba people the boost, the development we needed. And they have made you feel like uh, it's impossible. Way back in 1748, Yorubas who spoke, who were speaking different languages, but very common, common words. They were able to work together in a kingdom that gave them security. And the Egba, the Egbados, they were allowed to hold their territories. But, because this is trade, money, goods involved, something, economic power of the kingdom, that the Egbas and the Egbados are in charge of. Back then, Alafi appointed Ajeles as his own eyes, his own ears. How much you know they pick up the Gari, the Keduga, you know what I mean? Which is sensible. He appointed his own representatives to work with the Egbas and the Egbados while they hold their territories in the kingdom. So these were agents appointed by the Allah Afiyo for you to oversee his interests and monitor commerce. The lead representative of Oyo in the corridor was the Olu, ruler of the town of Ilaro. Hmm. Olu of Ilaro has his own appointment. He is made an oba historically by the Allah for your only to monitor the trade and commerce for Allah fin in that axis. My people from Yewa, all oh, my people from Egbado, Yewa, Yewa North, Yewa South, Imasai. When the Fulani invaders invaded the Yewa and sent our people to Benin Republic in Pobe. I can't remember if you have any video of where Allah Afiyo for you became angry because Olu of Ilaro, the man that should possibly report back to Allah Afiyo, Nigeria happened. Nobody, they see anybody. Everybody is an Ozula now. But people, they also here and there. Olu of Ilaro was meant to ensure that uh, the economy of Yoruba land, uh, the empire, is never threatened. Olu of Ilaro is a very well-known man. Obakeyi Day. What's the name of Olu? 
or back when you did there. Historically, he is there as an oba to protect. And remember that uh, Yewa land, the border towns, they have been watching helplessly while the Nigerian custom, Nigerian custom officials, they will run into their communities and they will kill their children returning from schools. They will kill their youth in the name of uh, pursuing smugglers who pass through the border without authorization. They live in the border. They have seen wars. Go to Seme border. Go to uh, where, where is this other border? With the uh, hey, remind me. Olu of Ilaro shouldn't be in his palace sleeping. If this was uh, 1748, Allah of him would have called on him and got rid of him. Straight up. But Nigeria happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, Nigeria happened. As, uh, as we found out now, yeah. Anyway, let's 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 go to the uh, let's go to the the fourth layer. Idi Roko Boda, God bless you. Thank you very much for that. Let's go to the fourth layer of the kingdom of or your empire. Behold, Ajaland. The Ajaland, which I will probably call it Jabuland anyway, but let's read. Was the last layer added to the empire. It was the most restive <laughs> and distant and kept in line with threat of expeditions against it. This territory extended from the non-Yoruba areas, west of Ebado Corridor, far into a way controlled territory in modern Togo. This area, like all tributary states, was allowed a fair degree of autonomy as long as taxes were paid. The orders from Ojo were strictly followed and access to local markets was provided to Ojo merchants. The Ojo often demanded tribute in slaves. The tributary chiefs of other kingdoms sometimes made war on others to capture slaves for this purpose. Oyo was known to punish disobedience by wholesale slaughter of the erring uh, community as it accomplished in Alada in 1698. This is not Ijebuland, so to say. It was pretty much uh, like uh, the Togo, as far as uh, when you go deeper into Dahomey, in today's uh, Benin Republic, as we say. So eventually, Oyo lost those places. Uh, when colonialists came, yeah, they were completely partitioned to another country, a French speaking, they say. And they are Yorubas who, uh, for the century of uh, or your kingdom or your empire and their rule, yeah, uh, they speak Yoruba and they have been Yorubas and they are still there today as Yorubas. Now, why did I tell you all of this? We have seen worse. Last two weeks, we had a team at Igongong. A team in Gongong were covering the a year after the attack of the Fulani terrorist on the people of Ngongong. And they were seeking help. They've been abandoned. Government, nobody have their time. We saw the, the palaces burned, the people who lost their the survivors, so to say. Uh, and that kind of always jot my mind in a way to make me remember that. Uh, Either by the sheer silence of these uh, traditional rulers, which Allah you know, for you should consider a gogon as part of uh, the whole uh, of your empire, Igbo area and the rest. And he kept the Fulani terrorists in those forests because his friend, Bokoari, is the presidiot. And he ensured that uh, any Yoruba son or daughter that made any public uh, statement about the insecurity is targeted, possibly arrested or excommunicated in a way like they tried to kill Uluye Sunday Igbo. When they tried to kill Uluye Sunday Igbo, that did not put a strain in the relationship of uh, this Allah thing with Bokwari. Rather, or Neo Fife came back and he said, Buari told him to go and warn Igbo. You see these two prominent obas, 
these two prominent, prominent obas, they are obas that normally you should never see them in public anyhow. You should never see them in public. Like I said, their life, their existence is mainly for the Yoruba cause. Yoruba fest, anything Yoruba. If you see them out, you should know that there's trouble. But they are always uh, crawling to Bokuari's uh, bed. And they always come back to come and warn Yorubas. Who dare try to do anything? They call them troublemakers. And when he died, they put his body in public. And now he died and showed up uh, just pretty much like a, an ordinary person. He is not Ikuba Bayeye. Apologies to all of you who are from Oyo. I know it may be difficult for some of you to accept this now. And I bet some of you have actually been living this with this rage in yourself for so long. Why you watch Obade uh, Yemi Lamidi? Eh? Desecrated that stool. The same way we are seeing now the Oni of Ife, who is now the Instagram Oba. I've been a TikTok Oba in Yoruba land. All this desecration and all modernization in the UK, yeah, in Britain. For centuries, you've read about uh, their own uh, royals too. In the UK, people feel like uh, the, the monarchy should go. But guess what? Eh? As much as they've modernized their monarchy in the UK, yeah, you can't just say you walk into uh, the, the, the Queen's Palace yeah, and then you want to do a TikTok video because you want to show modernization. Traditionally, nobody should even get anywhere closer to our, uh, to our Nirisha in the first instance. Not to talk of you seeing or Nirisha. In you don't see him, you don't see his face, you don't see anything like that. It's money now, isn't it? And that's why we found that uh, a lot of you know, for you, Ikuba Bayeye, uh, this and that, and every other stuff and stuff, a lot of things body wrapped. Some people are even telling themselves in order to feel, for them to feel good, yeah? They said, my ego is not, are you sure it's a lot of things? They cannot bring his body out like that. I said, oh, you did deceive yourself, uh, auntie. I understand. I actually understand. I feel your, I feel your dilemma. You are seeing it is unbelievable. But somehow, somehow, something tells you that uh, they just did it. Just, it's not him that they can never allow. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Should you even put something together and present it as Allah? Thing? And they are doing Allah Akbar. Where do they think it's going? It's going to Alijana. It's going to go and see God in the Yoruba, uh, in the Yoruba mythological, uh, you know, uh, teachings. A laughing thing that dies or a royal father that dies becomes an Orisha himself. So which one is Allah Akbar? You go to Alijana Abi. Emma Tonrayi. So, I can't believe it. 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 I can't believe So what you have seen about what the Emir could allow by if it was seen to a K B S M Muslimi, what the rest in terms of to serve food that the king will see, but power to watch it, lava. So far, for now, I'm trying to handle up for more. You can't be business job, letting go. You know what I mean? Me talking about the affi. Tiro, a lot of people are about the Emmy. You buy? I want less than most money. I'm to pay your sister. She wants to be a lot of money. Pay you. That is same. Papa, ni ni es si. Muslim. 
It's an emotional one, isn't it? They did it, I didn't too. So don't blame me. My ego, why are you showing? Sure? Well, if they didn't upload it, if they didn't do it, I won't say it. Hey, what's your problem? Go go. Somebody was asking me that. My ego, what's your problem? Go go. Is it because uh, Allah have found Allah and it's going to say uh, it's not because of that? See? It is because that uh, you are deceiving yourselves because it's convenient for you. You know that. You will never go and bury the. Olu wo, olu wo, I mean, olu wo akwe no, as akwe, as akwe, or bagba mi go mi go, olu wo. So when they were doing that, look at those afa. Chief imam of Oyo. Hello, Akbar. Olu wo, don't say, bye, bye, bye. He wo, olu wo, Allah, Allah. You know, me do, be, kabi ezi, kabi ezi mo Allah, koto lo. Allah, Akbar, ni baba koko so, ni baba so last. All those bobo. 
Now, what song came to my mind? I don't remember the lyrics very well, but you helped me. Say, I want a wani lori. You see this one, you say, I want a fire, I want a in a jar, no more, no, see, my love, so la, 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 In a jar, no more, not there that they go. But you be not, not only poor people, they go jar, no more, which is hell fire for the Christians. They call it hell fire. Now, this Baba, all this Baba, Afa, Afa, you see, I want Afa, I'm on a bunny, 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 Timba, 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 Wale, Timba, Wale, Alua, Tio. Ingwego, Ingwego, Pora, Ni, Baba, Egbe, No, Shisa, Onda, Long, Pora. Ingwego, Pora, Kari, Nyo, Ya, E, Disabia, La, Di, Bedroom, Sinu, Toilet. Kati, E, Kon, Geko, Test, Ye, Shot, Saku. Ingwego, Ya, Shama, La, Re, La, La, Timba, Wale, Timba, Fa, Wan, Ya, Kini, Baba, E, Koshi, Sa, Wan, Ya, Wede, Wole, En, Fa. An, Oni, Je, Ku, Je, Baba, O, Fu, Baba, O, Shia, Long, Koba, Religion, No, You Know, They, Are, Actually, Those, Who, Who, Make, Your Religion, A mockery. Your faith, a mockery. And that's why I said, on my own diary, political, learn how to detach. That's your faith. Because it's yours. You earn it. They will only blackmail you because they are all job men. Now them, they shout, you know, a party, 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 if you know, go, you know, if you know, do a party, if you know, do this, if you know, do that, you know, I don't know, the, 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 the particular one. Any can it open, the, 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 I mean, you're a man. If I enter anywhere where they do ocean, if they have cooked food, I go shop. If I enter anywhere where they do oru, my brother, if they cook, I go shop. If they do a gun, where they say they don't just, they just, they just cut one dog like that, or they buy for gun, Baba, if they bring it, I go shop with the oil and everything. If I hear praise God in that church, they say, what is it that they do? They do harvesting. Harvesting, fruit day, food day. They say fruit day, food day. Drink up. That one did the back of the altar. You know, go feel drink in front of everybody. This is church. My ego, don't drink here. I said, okay, fine. But we'll start with the fruit as appetizer. Ahead, uh, because I just finished yam from where we did do or do. I'm a Yoruba man for goodness sake. I'll sit there. I'll watch them do things because I have been there. It's more real for me. And then you turn around, you say the person, the custodian of that. You cannot tell him that he's going to you know, jail no more. They are dear. They are going to tell anybody. Allah, I think, 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 I then if you ask them, my friend, you know, uh, we understand, Can, you know, don't need to say that. Uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's, you know, all these people, uh, just leave them to God. Don't leave them for God. There's a bunch of jokers who have a bunch of uh, ignorant, uh, miseducated, misinformed people, gullible ones, so, to lead on. That's why people like us, they call us rebel. They say, wherever we say, you know, if you walk, because we know if you lie, tell you say, Baba, you go see one sign made in the midnight. If you hear burn, burn a sign from heaven, no, make you meet 7 a.m. tomorrow. You know what I mean? If you know if you do that one, are you going lie to them? Do this and that. They won't believe you. You see these ones, eh? They've known it for ages. You won't tell them, say, waiting there. No, for ages. No true. They use them to manipulate us so badly. So badly. And when they finally gain control, eh? They plundered everything. It's a missed opportunity, so to say. A missed one. A lot of things, not a Muslim, it's not a Christian, it's a traditionalist. Or oh, you see, you are far, you are Shifi Imam. A lot of things, an angel. Uh -uh. With, the right, with the right color of money. Eh? If the color of that money is very nice, it's nice. 
You know, the color go show. If you go uh, in a jar no more, or you are going to, to go and sit with God in heaven, where uh, seven angels, I mean, seven, seven bo, 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 bunch of uh, uh, pedophilic uh, animals. Where seven virgin they wait for you. You do, 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 do for this art. Eh? Or maybe you know, get chance, do, do, do for this art in your imagination. Eh? Seven virgin they do wait for you. What do you want to virgin do? What do you concern virgin and Islam? What do you concern a, a, a virgin, woman, uh, and your faith with God? No be, no, be, no, be, no be mental be that. So all those guys, they know those who will go to heaven depends on who shows them the color of their currency. That's why you saw them, they, all of them, they move down. They want to bury a laughing. When they know historically, yeah, that is a custodian of the Yoruba deities. Who is deceiving who? You are asking me, my, what's your problem, Gongo? Is it because Allah have him meet Allah? You the crazy. You the version part of Rahim and you need Jekuje and you leave. If you don't go into part of Rahim on here, you Rahim Bobo, you Rahim Molle, you got you know. Some people just feel like they should just keep quiet. They say leave them. If they, if you tell them anything else, they will not believe. I say no, me I will tell them. They don't have to believe. You need run, you need run, you need jabba jabba, you need jibi jibi jobo jobo. That's why I told Jekuje and we laugh here. No, ah, you could be about yeah yeah. They desecrated the stool. And you need to know that. Don't tell your children that they are not who they are. Don't say that to your children. I'll tell my children. See, I know the names of those who sold Yoruba land. And they sold them collecting stipend every month. And wherever they have to stop and stand for Yoruba land, no. They want their faces everywhere. They want to be on newspaper. They want to be on TV. They want to be making blunt, nonsensical statements that are pretty much uh, bollocks. As long as their nest is being fed out, as long as they are feeding them, as long as they get their own share. I won't tell my children, I laugh. One, I laugh. You know, for years, I'll me the day, me. He was a great king. Face me. Look at me very well. I will not tell my children that there was a king called Allah. I did me. He was a good man. He was a great man. Don't tell your children that. It wasn't. Same thing with this current or me. Watch out for them, oh. And don't pretend. Don't let all those fraudulent culture, culture they always use to, to wink you, blackmail you. These guys have no respect for that culture. They don't. They good they wish culture. The only time they because when they say they are celebrating culture, it's because they will be the center of attraction. And guess what? That they collect gifts, eh? Money, car, everything. I want to do festival. So yeah, go there. That festival, if you go, if you look for Peking, go there. And once they pray for you like this, you go get picking. So people don't they go deep thing for the past 30 years until they, they enter menopause. They still don't get that picking because it's not what it is anymore. These rogues have, have they, they have adulterated everything, destroy them. And the only thing left is the fear. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, shut up your mouth too. Ah, don't say that, don't say that in public. Ah. Ah, my you go, my you go, my you go, yeah, my you go, 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 my you if they happen, no, they don't turn or 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 near of if stool to a scamming stool. Some of you don't know that, oh, or you grow to know them. That is why or near of if will go to Abuja in the face of all the calamities going on. He will go to Abuja and he come back and say, Buari said I should go and warn Igbo to stop all the nonsense he's doing. Like seriously, you're not paying attention. Ha ha ha! Because you are paying attention, you just it's so hard for you to take it in. Like this is real. Oh my God, this is real. Oh my God, it's true. No, 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 it can't be true. Ah, God, is my ego, uh, hey, man, man, my ego is making sense. No, 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 it's not making any sense. No, I don't believe it. Ah, our own uh, tradition, the thing where we say, are you saying that uh, they have destroyed them enough that uh, they are just using the fear left to make you believe that uh, whatever they do, eh, be careful, oh, be careful before you talk about them or else calamity will come, oh, they can do this to you, they can do that to you. They turn everything to scam, fraud, defrauding people, doing things, horrible things that uh, if you know what they have now associated with those, with our stools, you go fear, you go join the campaign that we should get rid of them.
pure waste of uh, resources and pure, pure waste of existence, most of them. So pay attention. You should. Nobody should blackmail you or threaten you simply because you've come across an information that you actually want to know more. Or because what my ego is saying right now is opening some old wounds, bringing back some old memories, things you've come, you've come across in the course of your life, things you've read, and you've personally told yourself that, no, nah, I don't want to believe that. Ah, it's, so, it's so difficult, but it's not. It's you who is choosing what to see. You can see, or you choose what to believe. Look at them, and look at the society they live or they lead. Everything else you are making up that is different from what you can see and touch, trust me, they are just your own reality to escape the reality. You know, oh, no, 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 I don't want to. Ah. I was in London uh, for two days and I met some uh, my Biafran brothers and some other people in London, right? But before I get to that, let me show you this clip because or else I'm going to forget and I'm about to round up until evening when I see you again, right? In fact, let me show you this video because it's related to what I'm talking about now. It's a report that we paid for on Maya Gunzari political platform. Yeah, we did pay for this. A lot of money. Then we spoke to the victims of the Gongong attack. A year after, with all those paparazzi, the video, the police DPO, the police uh, IG, this and that, that went there. All those paparazzi, a year after, the people have been abandoned. I hope you'll be able to understand this. Sit back. You paid for this. We paid for this on Mayegun's Diary Political, just like many other things we've paid for, to bring the attention of the world, Yoruba especially, to exact things going on, facts for facts, picture for picture, see the victims, listen to them. They are going to speak to you. Listen to this. Aki eyin olugbo wa nile loko ati leyin odi bi a se ba yin soro yi ilu igangan lawa ilu ti isele la bi ti sele lati bi odun kan seyin laarin awon eyan wa awon yoruba ati awon fulani daran daran isele la bi to sele yi o se opolopo ofofun dukiya ati emi leyin bi odun kan seyin ti sele yi ti sele awon ni royin wa african high won gbera lati lo si ilu igangan lati ba awon ebi to fara kasa ninu isele labi ati awon to so dukiya nu ati pe nigba toro na sele ijoba se ileri lati se awon nkan kan ni atunse ati atun to nibe nipa idi eyi la fi gbera lati mu iroyin nkan to nsele lati bi odun kan seyin wa si eti eyin olugbo wa nipa isele labi to sele ni ilu igangan e ma ba wa kalo nkan ti o sele si opolopo mi nbi awa na e lo sele si to wa ni alakoso lu e ge bi oba lu so gbogbo nkan to si baje lati bi odun kan seyin ko sin kan ti ati ro joba ni pin ni bi ti joba local o ti state ni o federal ni ati ri owo joba kan kan ibi ta wa yi afin wa ni 
bi o bi o le kan le ni bi ni wo ko de si njo ti sele sele ala anu wa kan o lo fe wa to je omo bi bi wa ni barapa yi to ni e je ninu o lo se ni ohun lo se kini lo tun le ko bo ti wa bi ta gbara re mo di lo se de mo fu wa to waju afin oko bi me lo jona so ina afin ni bi ta wa afin ni bi te wa ni ni won sun ibi ni o ni won be ni lenu jo meta yi ni won wa bi won re awon oko kan wa won ni la to do gomele la won ti to bi baya baya o se meta sha ti won wa si bi won ni gomele lo na won wa lati oyo state pe kan won wa sha bewo si bi se en tun be nu aye wo lati jo ehun ti gomele na ti wa ti won so kale ti won fun yuri gbogbo nkan to sele ta ti wa ri yi pada re e lowo ta fe a fe kun won re wa lo le ri ni aju won yi ni gbogbo bi ti agbara won ba ka iru awon to kan won ba je en to ba le ni wa lo ti won dere won ba le boko ko won le ra ni awon lagbara ba yi o eyin ye en to ba ni shop o ke ba yi la won le fun ni lowo o ta to do awon eyan yoruba awon te mi mo so fun na won re awon mo lowo is a tip so later this afternoon i'm going to upload the, the full report so you're going to see the whole area so when it's uploaded on my goods diary uh, youtube that's where you're going to see it you can go take a glimpse then i'm going to eventually cut them into pieces use them uh, as part of uh, my presentation at some point explaining uh, in parts what this report brought to us okay so it's just to let you know that uh, all these events are real there are victims too the man who spoke earlier that's the new king in the gongon because the king that met uh, oloye sunday back then uh, i've been told i think it's late now so so i think that's a new one there however i will analyze i mean i will I analyze this uh, clip uh, further when we upload the full report i think it's somewhere around uh, uh, 35 uh, minutes uh, long uh, there are other victims also who spoke and they've been abandoned as just like everybody you are going to be on your own anyway that's nigeria when it happens to you you may look around and be like hey, yeah you know it is what it is so you know uh, ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you to you for uh, spending your uh, uh, you know spending your afternoon with me and at the same time uh, to my friends uh, in america spending your morning early morning with me so tonight i'm going to be on inshallah or by the grace of god agbara won alale awo to laye laye agbara yin ma mi as usual so which means i'm going to be here tonight later right and i'm going to be having the uh, guests is this a team of uh, men uh you know who are organizing well it's already uh, in the process anyway like it's almost uh, here i think it's going to be on uh, on saturday right so the 30th of uh, april in london so they're having this uh, you know kind of a get together conversational meeting concerning the what's going on in nigeria the political part of it and then uh, the agitation part of it revolutionary part of it and many others right and they want to kind of uh, you know have a, 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 a table like i don't know how to describe that like a panel like a conversation right they've got uh, they've got a guest speakers all of this is just part of uh, let's have a chat let's have a conversation about what is going on which i am pretty much in support of okay so they're going to spend about 30 minutes with me tonight uh hopefully we're able to get that done tonight because they need to let you know what they want to do or they are doing and so that uh, every one of you in london or in the uk who is pretty much uh, interested in uh, making an impact not just talking just doing doing you know doing uh -huh. you will be able to connect with them so they will come on today and i'm expecting uh you know uh yeah i think let me remember the name I've got Pato, I've got uh, Gabriel, Gabi, I called him Gabi. These uh, great guys met with me in London yesterday. Uh, they are going to be with me tonight, hopefully, uh, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, and then uh, I've got so much more I want to share with you, but my time is kind of up. Uh, I didn't plan to, to even last this long, but again, I have delivered my own uh, message. I have historically linked all these uh, pieces together for you. You have no excuse. Eh? to give excuse uh, for those who have no uh, you know who have no business with uh, Yoruba land other than the fact that uh, they are opportuned to be in strategic positions that are no longer strategic anymore because like i said these guys are hustlers and if you are in the right click you can be a king too she be the daughter you see mc olu around will be king that's how it works these days it is no longer tradition 
and nobody should blackmail you with tradition, this tradition, that, or threaten you with it. And you should never be threatened with that. You see, some of us, we grew up in the 80s and early 90s. We understood perfectly well the consequences of uh, confronting or challenging those that are custodian of our cultures and our tradition or heritage and this and that. But we figured out that uh, what we are actually like uh, afraid of is the fear that they implanted on us. And it was deliberate. It's for us never to question or to probe. Because when you begin to probe, it, you're probing this whole thing starts from them. Because you realize that they are going against the norms and the culture, the tradition, the heritage that they sworn to protect. So if you question much, then you're going to know that it's all fake. These guys don't represent anybody. They represent just themselves. They just use our tradition, our culture, and our heritage, and everything that makes us uh, respect who we are. They just use them to intimidate us from talking. Now, I want you to start talking. You know all those things, those rogue ones that parade themselves with Irukere and Agbada and this and that. Eh? Don't fear them. Don't, don't fear them. They can't do anything to you. Trust me. The first thing is that, uh, ah, Emi Lomba, we mash, we go. cross my ego. Tell them. When you see them, you say, Baba, I just respect, I just cross the boy. Because you don't believe in all those nonsense, you're probably going to throw at him. And he will probably will never stop, too. Sure, you get. In the long run, when they use that brush to, to, black, to paint them, they use it to paint the rest of us as Yorubas. Cowards, opportunists who have taken advantage of us. Now, you should be, not be afraid. Speaking out or speaking your mind in this regard, right? Educating others. And you should tell them, there's absolutely nothing to fear. Nothing. You should be feared because you have known the truth. Yes, you've known the truth now. And you can never know the truth and remain the same. You won't feel comfortable. I've never felt comfortable since day one I knew that Nigeria was a lie. And there's a lot that can go into it in getting us what we want. Trust me. One of them is actually education, the one I'm doing, the one you should be doing. When you get educated, enlightened, trust me, you feel liberated, don't you? Now, at the same time, you feel kind of weighed down with the responsibility of uh, the ignorance around you. And you get to say, I want to educate people. Do it and fear not from speaking out. And I want you to start now. Speak it out. Say it. When you see those rogue Oba, call their names. You know this Oba Lagoon. All of you know Oba Lagoon here. Oba Lagoon cannot threaten you with any tradition anymore. Can Oba Lagoon threaten you? Uh-huh. She Oba Lagoon lay threatening you. Hey, you are talking to me. At first, those Lagosians wanted to they wanted to be defensive. My Egun, be careful. Don't talk about our Oba like that. As you are. It's not me. Now Oba Lagoon, a former police officer, pickpocket. He's a former criminal from a criminal system. Trust me, that's how it is. But when they turn to Roya, you want them to turn to good. Then when they don't turn good, you want to hide behind tradition, culture, and respect. Come on, spare me that. Don't get covered and don't get coward by that, okay? Speak your truth. Say it. And because every day, they are just like, uh, they are just like uh, a giver that keeps giving. You cannot excuse their misbehavior. You cannot excuse their own uh, corrupt way of life that is now corrupting the tradition that they are scaring you or intimidating you with. That's why you must, you must, you know, deconstruct your mind, like I said. Do it. It's so easy. Don't create alternative, uh, alternative uh, reality. I have told you this. If you have any research to do, research around what I have told you. They are facts that you can touch. You know them. You've probably never seen somebody put them together like this before. I have just done that. So don't create another alternative reality because this one is too, is too raw to believe. Wait for me till this evening. If you have the time, join me if you can. If you don't have the time, sure. Thanks for spending this particular one with me. And the next time you see me, eh, there's going to be another bombshell out there. Read it with an open mind. Listen to it very carefully. Right hidden in it or right there in it is where your own mind that is imprisoned by these guys, yeah, it's where that celebration lies. I don't know how it works for everybody. It did work for me. Try it. Now see some other time. Like the broadcast if you can, but if you're angry, don't dislike it. It won't show. Hmm? But you can comment if you want. I'm going to see you again. Just like I always said, you will see me again and again and again. Until then, Princess, F1 closing prayer. A 